بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله عن عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت لما رأيت طيب نفس الحبيب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم قلت يا رسول الله شو يعني لما رأيت طيب نفس الحبيب محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يعني انتهزت الفرصة في أن صلى الله عليه وسلم كان مروح يعني جالس مبسوط فقالت لك أن تهز الفرصة وهذه خصيصة للمؤمنين الحريصين على الجنة دائما ينتهز الفرص في التقرب إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى عائشة رضي الله عنها said that when I saw that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is relaxed and in a good mood I took advantage of that Let's see how she took advantage of that. يا رسول الله قلت يا رسول الله ادعو لي ادعو الله لي أن يدخل للجنة. شو بدك بعد الجنة؟ She said, Oh Prophet of Allah, ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to admit me to Jannah. فقال صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اغفر لعائشة ما تقدم من ذنبها وما تأخر وأدخلها الجنة من غير حساب ولا عذاب شو يعني ما أجمل هذا الدعاء So Allah forgive عائشة all of her sins the old and the new and admit her to Jannah without accountability and without punishment ما معنى ذلك يعني الإنسان قد يحاسب وقد يناقش في الحساب يعني في عرض وفي نقاش اللي يناقش على كلام اللي يعرض ينجو day of judgment either you are presented with your bad deeds and good deeds or you are accounted for it by being يعني, uh, reprimanded or severely discussed يعني, rather than saying تذكر انت بس عملت هذا اليوم طيب تذكر هذا اليوم كمان طب هذا هو طب هذا هو هذا هو هذا هو انت بتكون راحت عليه الله سبحانه وتعالى في النهاية يقول قد سترتها عليك في الدنيا فسأسترها عليك اليوم عجل so Allah سبحانه وتعالى may present you with your deeds do you remember today that day, that day, that action, this action and he continues on showing you all the bad things that you did you yourself, you think well, you forget all of your good deeds because you see so many of bad deeds then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell you, I covered you in dunya, and I'm going to cover you here, and then you are forgiven. If he is going to account you, then he would tell you, you remember this? Why did you do this? Did you know that? Didn't I send to you a prophet? Did? And then you go for the next and all of that. This definitely going to get punished in hell. So he told her, May Allah admit you to Jannah without any of that. Yani straight to Jannah, not even presented with her bad deeds. And who enters the Jannah like that? 70,000. 70,000 min ummat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yadkulu al-Jannah min ghayr hisab wa la sadiqat adam. Wasafhum al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wabas wasafhum kan hunak 
يعني عكاشة ابن محسن رضي الله عنه فقال انتهز الفرصة كذلك مثل عائشة قال ادعوا لي يا رسول الله أن أكون منه قال له أنت منه فقال صحابي آخر قال له يا رسول الله إن الله لي قال له سبقت بها عكاشة شو يعني؟ Too late. Oh, رضي الله عنه, when he was present at the time when the Prophet وسلم, said, 70,000 of my ummah will enter Jannah without accountability, without punishment, straight to Jannah. Oh, knows the dua of the Prophet وسلم, is accepted. So he took advantage of that moment immediately. He said, Oh, Prophet of Allah, make dua for me that I'm one of them. He told him, You're one of them. Another one woke up. One of the Sahaba said, so Oh, Prophet of Allah, make dua for me too. He said, Too late. Too late, yani, somebody took it. Keep us, uh, the Prophet of the Buhr al Hamra, the Buhr al Hamra, the Too late, yani. So these are taken advantage. But look at Aisha radiallahu anha, when he made that dua, what she did. فقالت فد فضحكت حتى وقع رأسي في حجري من الضحك يعني ضحكة ضحكات لحتى عندك she laughed so hard that her head fell in her lap يعني for what for the dua you probably think that what did you think of laughing brother why do you think she's laughing I know the things go on in your head before I tell you. Why do you think she's that? Because she knows she will go to jail. Yeah, Allah, if, I, if I give you good news, would you do that? Yeah. Would you laugh until your head would fall on your lap? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You would be happy. But subhanAllah, every person expresses himself differently. Yeah, in the, the minute that you read this hadith, it's like you would say, if I'm doing that to you and you do this, I would say, what's so funny? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi asked her, but maybe not like our way. فَقَالَ Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, مَا يُضْحِكُكِ يَا عَائِشَ Why are you laughing? فَقَالَ دَعْوَتُكَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ يعني في رواية أخرى وَمَا لِيَ أَضْحَى why should I laugh, O Prophet of Allah? Your dua. Yani, they not all fahim hala, ta'bir ha, and I got you to the bah. And they are, ha, akhata, basata, or jibta, or bahit, or fuzit. Yani, she's, 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 yani, in our own ways to just express that, it's like she set a trap. She wants to get something so hefty from the Prophet Sallallahu Today is the day. So she said, I'm going to get it. I'm going to try it. She tried it. She got it. So she said, Alhamdulillah, I got you. She said, you're done, O Prophet of Allah. It's like, I was looking for that for a long time. And now, I got it. Look at that answer. فَقَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَاللَّهِ إِنِّي لَأَدْعُو بِهَا أي هذه الدعوة لأمتي في كل صلاة ما شاء الله كبير ما هو هذا بس تيجي تحكي لإنسان سنة ينظر لها يعني ما لها قيمة إشي يعني اعمل ولا ما تعمل ما عليك والرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم يدعو في هذه الدعوة إنه لو يعني لا حساب ولا عذاب. الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم making this دعوة for every one of us. And with this, when we remind a person about the Sunnah, we look at Sunnah as if it's something that you don't have to do. Meaning, don't even worry about it. Look what he's doing, and what we are doing when it comes to that. As far as 70,000, there's good news. Another hadith that the Prophet وسلم, said, with every person enters 70,000 more. Inshallah. Yani, 70,000 times 70,000. How does that happen? How does that happen? 
يعني 4900 مليون will enter the Jannah without accountability يعني إن شاء الله يعني لا منها ما أنا ما ما حطيتكش أسامي بليون وتريليون ومش عارف شو 4900 وقدامها ست أصفار صحيح؟ إحنا منها يعني إحنا منها 70 تايم 70 وست أصفار تعبت فيش ولا محاسب هون ولا حد شي طاقه 490 ملي نعم 490 ملي 49 49 ولا 490 49 0 0 اوكي 49 يعني احنا احنا اسمعوا هذا الحديث الثالث أورجيكم كيف الإنسان العادل والإنسان المحب والإنسان المتبع للحق والإنسان اللي يقول الحق بغض النظر يعني يأخذ بقول الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين من قص شهداء لله ولو على أنفسكم أو الوالدين والأقربين Here the next hadith, I will show you how when you love someone, you don't deviate from the truth. You always go and follow the truth. Look at Aisha radiallahu anha in a different occasion. يعني look how much the Prophet sallallahu loves Aisha, and he will not get silent or remain silent when he sees something wrong, regardless from whom. Even that person, it could be a father or a mother, or even yourself. قال الإمام النووي رحمه الله عندما قالت عائشة رضي الله عنها لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حسبك من صفية. صفية is the wife of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Another wife. So عائشة got jealous of صفية because he mentioned her in something positive. And one of those things that she used to cook with. And that's why one time when she, uh, the companions were there at uh, Prophet Sallallahu house, and Safiya brought some food or some sweet or something, and Aisha saw that, she kicked the tray mm -hmm. in her hand, flipped everything upside down in front of everybody. And this just tells you how extreme women's jealousy can be in the front of everybody. But at the same time, I want to show you how gentle the Prophet وسلم, is and how bearing or forbearing he is in situation that any of us would lose his mind literally. I would think that this is a mistake unforgivable. You cannot forgive that. Look how the Prophet ﷺ behaved. And by the way, this behavior also tells you that the Prophet ﷺ gives extra room for women when it comes to jealousy. Meaning, they're not, yani, yani, if you're expected, if you're expected her to be jealous, uh, let's say, uh, seven out of ten with a person, with a normal person, because she is a woman, give her nine out of ten or ten out of ten. Yani, give her extra patience, allowing for that jealousy to be balanced. Look what he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She said, Hasbuka bin Safiya. You know what she said, basically? She said, Safiya is short. And she is short. So she didn't lie. But she didn't mean it good either. Yani, was Safiya there, radiallahu anha? 
No. Well, let me tell you what happened when she kicked the, the tray. Just, I know some of you would say what happened after that. He told the companions, Your mother became jealous. Ya Aisha, inat bi inat, wa ta'am bi ta'am, kama khal sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You broke the dish, pay her back a new dish, ruin the food, make her new food, and case closed, and we're all happy. How many of us would do that? No, you would not. والله واحد كاعد أربع عشرين ساعة بدور على الحر. أنا سمعت من سمعت من رسول الله بعد نفس الشيء. أكو غارس أكو غارس. لا صحيح. صح النبي سبب تبدأ. So here عائشة رضي الله عنها she is making a negative comment about صفية. Sure and she is sure. Look what he said صلى الله عليه وسلم. يا عائشة قد كنت كلمة لو مزجت بماء البحر لمزجت. وفي رواية لأفسدت. He said you have said a word if you mix it with the pure, fresh, good, livable water for animals and fish and everything of the sea, it will ruin it. يعني all and every living creature in the sea would die because the water is no good. Because of she is sure. Can you reflect on our gatherings? فكر في جلسات أو في كلامنا أو في نقاشنا أو في استهزائنا أو في ضحكنا أو في تعييدنا أو في تشبيهنا أو في كل. يعني when you think about gathering, when we start comparing and criticizing and saying everything negative, and we never even think about it when we have problems. Like we say, a stop for Allah probably from every sin, but we don't say a stop for Allah from that night because we don't even see it as a problem. But here, see how the Prophet ﷺ over there, he made that wonderful dua for her, and over here, he gave her a huge warning. That's love. This is the real love. The real love is not the romance that we look in. Or, or most people visualize in this world, the real love is the person who saves you from hellfire. That's the true love. A husband, a loving husband, is the one who takes his wife to Jannah, not to Disney World or Six Flags or any of those places. It's okay to go there. I'm not, you don't conclude that I'm saying anything wrong. But I'm saying a lot of people, they think that they are doing too good because they're traveling here and they're getting here and they're buying here and constantly they're on the run. Everything comes, let's go, and they think that they are doing good. Not just for the wife, for the children the same way. You find the children, you have the nice car and you have the nice phone and you travel every holiday and you do and you, but when was the last time you take them for a vacation to the masjid? I don't mean a vacation, yeah, a salah. A salah, when? And you think he's the best dad. Yeah, your son is going to say you're a wonderful dad. But the day of judgment, he's going to tell you, Baba, why you didn't tell me this? Why you didn't teach me this? Why you didn't take me there? Now they're happy, but there they're not. When one of the righteous predecessors, Ahl al-Salihin, يتصدق ويقدم ويعطي ويعمل كله لوجه الله سبحانه وتعالى صار يعتب عليه أولاد شو كان لهم أنا بعمل هذا لإله وكان أبوهما صالحا They said why are you doing all of this why are you helping everybody why don't you relax He said I'm doing it for you Haven't you read in the Quran their father was righteous so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took care of his children. So this is uh, how the Prophet ﷺ behaved with Aisha, the most beloved person. He did not let that slide. 
If you do that to your wife, or to your son, or to your sister, or to your mom, مشينا ياه يا زلمة انت مدفر على كل شغلة كل اللي حكيناها كلمة صح ولا لا؟ If you say that about someone you love or your mom or your wife or anything, let it slide, man. You pick on everything. You get, nobody can enjoy the conversation in your gathering. Everything you pick on everything as if they haven't said anything. And look what that does. So we conclude, brothers and sisters, that a person humiliates himself with disobedience and elevates himself with obedience. الإنسان به نفسه بالمعصية العزيز يذل بالمعصية والذليل يرفع بالطاعة فاحرص على المعصية وأهم شيء في هذا الأمر اللي نأخذ من القصة الثانية القصة الأولى نأخذ منها انتهز الفرص دائما والقصة الثانية لا تسكت عن الباطل First lesson we take from tonight is take advantage of time and take advantage of opportunity. In business, what do we say? Opportunities only come once. But Jannah biju kulyo in opportunities. In business, we say opportunities come once. So take advantage of opportunity. The second one. Don't be silent when you see someone do an haram. Enjoy good and forbid evil. Be kind, be gentle, be objective. What's the object? Well, why am I doing it? Because I want to guide you to Jannah. Then I must do it good. I must do it with sincerity and love. And I must be knowledgeable of what I'm talking about. جزاكم الله خيرا وبارك الله فيكم وسعدنا بلقائكم نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يجعلنا واياكم من اهل الجنه بارك الله فيكم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله